You're watching Football Daily and here are this week's biggest transfer news and headlines. As we approach the final months of the season, clubs are beginning to make plans for the summer and there are some wild rumours flying around right now, so we have a big show lined up for you today. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. We begin at Arsenal as talk about the future of right-back Hector Bellerin is making the back pages once again. Long linked with a move away from the Emirates, the Barcelona-born right-back has previously been touted for a return to Catalonia. But in 2020, it appeared he was set to switch London for Paris, with PSG reportedly seeing a £30 million bid rejected by the Gunners last summer, when Bayerin was apparently keen to move. And now, according to CBS, the French champions are ready to renew their interest in the 25-year-old, who by this summer will be one year closer to finishing his contract, which expires in 2023. This means that Arsenal will likely demand a lower fee for the former La Masia pupil, who will have been at the club for 10 years this summer, making a move to the City of Love a bigger possibility. Once one of Europe's most sought-after young fullbacks, inconsistent form and recurrent injuries have seen Bayer and star fade somewhat in recent years. But he remains an important player at Arsenal, playing more league minutes this term than any outfield player at the Emirates. As for his replacement, reports suggest that the club has already earmarked a couple of potential signings. First is Brighton youngster Tarek Lamptey, who only joined the club from Chelsea little over a year ago. One of the Premier League's breakout stars in 2020, Lamptey has been hampered by a hamstring injury since December, but has already attracted interest from a number of top clubs including Bayern Munich. Norwich City's Max Ahrens, who was a target for both Bayern and Barcelona last summer, is another option for the Gunners. The 21-year-old is having another impressive season at Carrow Road, as the Canaries bid to get back to the top flight at the first attempt, although his £35 million price tag could be a turn-off for any potential suitors. But who would be your ideal beer in replacement? Let us know in the comments below. Over to West Ham, whose loan capture of Jesse Lingard in January has proved a masterstroke in their bid for European football. The Hammers currently sit in fourth, five points ahead of champions Liverpool and just four off Man United in second. And Lingard has enjoyed an excellent start to life in East London, hitting three goals in his first four league appearances, including winners in crucial games against Aston Villa and Tottenham. So it's no surprise the club wants to keep the Englishman beyond the end of the season when his loan deal expires, but it won't be simple. This week, the Times confirmed that Man United refused to include a clause which would allow the club to automatically buy Lingard for a set price at the end of the campaign, meaning that if they do want to keep him, they will need to negotiate with the club again in the summer. Lingard could hardly get a game at Old Trafford and with his contract up in 2022 will need to be sold this summer if the Red Devils want a fee. Nevertheless, if he continues to be a key player for David Moyes at the London Stadium, his value will only increase, meaning the Hammers will need to shell out more than they would have in January for a player who hadn't started a Premier League game in over a year when he arrived at the club. On top of his reported £100,000 a week wages, this could prove quite a big investment, but no doubt a worthwhile one if the 28-year-old can continue his fine run of form. With Barcelona's presidential election less than two weeks away, anticipation is building around the three candidates hoping to win. And this week, one of them has made a big claim as to how the club will navigate the transfer market if he's elected. Tony Frecha, who goes up against Joan Laporta and Victor Font in this year's election, told Catalan radio station RAC one that he has struck a deal with an investor who will contribute 250 million euros to the club, which will largely be used for a spending spree this summer. How this would be done alongside clearing the club's huge debts and managing the Messi situation remains to be seen, but Frecha revealed that his presidency would see the Blaugrana sign three superstars, two in attack and one in defence, and added that it would be impossible for Barca manager Ronald Koeman not to like them, as they are unique players. This has of course led to speculation that the two attacking players are Kylian Mbappe and Erling Braut Haaland, and while Frecha refused to name any names, he suggested it would be possible to sign the pair. This seems a pretty far-fetched idea given the club's current situation, and it must also be noted that Frecha is considered very much an outsider in the presidential race having worked under the deeply unpopular Josep Bartomeu regime. A more realistic target for the club, however, could be Real Sociedad's sensation Alexander Isak, who is in the form of his life right now, having hit nine goals in his last six La Liga appearances. And according to ESPN, the club are ready to step up their interest in the Swedish international, whose contract at La Real doesn't expire until 2024 and contains a 70 million euro release clause. What's more, former club Borussia Dortmund have a buyback option worth 30 million euros, which they could exercise 
exercise if they decide to cash in on Haaland. But do you think Isak is the player Barcelona need? Let us know down below. Before we move on to our headline story, just a quick reminder to subscribe to Football Daily and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Let's move on. With six losses in his last eight games in all competitions, it's fair to say that pressure is mounting on Tottenham manager Jose Mourinho. And this week, a report has emerged suggesting that the club already has a replacement lined up should the Portuguese coach be relieved of his duties in North London. According to Matt Law at The Telegraph, Mourinho faces a crucial 12 days which could help to determine whether or not he is in charge of Spurs next season, which includes games against Burnley, Fulham and Crystal Palace. Even if he can deliver the Carabao Cup in April, which would be the club's first trophy since 2008, the former Chelsea boss may still lose his job if Spurs finish mid-table and don't make significant progress in the Europa League. And while he still has Daniel Levy's backing for the time being, the club's number one choice to replace him is understood to be RB Leipzig coach Julian Nagelsmann. The young tactician has become one of Europe's most coveted managerial talents in the last two years, and especially after leading Leipzig to the Champions League semi-finals in 2020, a run which included a comprehensive defeat of Mourinho's Spurs. However, while it's been reported that Nagelsmann may be open to a move to the Premier League at the end of the season, he also has long harboured ambitions of managing Bayern Munich, who would likely pursue him if the top job at the Allianz Arena ever became available. Committing to a project at Tottenham could hinder his chances if this situation was to occur in the next year or two. But at just 33 years of age, the German has a big career ahead of him, and there will no doubt be more than just one opportunity to manage Bayern. But if Spurs were to be unsuccessful in pursuing Nagelsmann, they could go for Brendan Rodgers, whose reputation will only be even bigger should he guide Leicester to Champions League qualification this season. We're sticking at Spurs for our final story, as one of the club's top transfer targets has also emerged this week. Mourinho's side have struggled defensively since the turn of the year, and a centre-back will likely be a priority this summer, with Lille youngster Sven Botman understood to be of interest. The Dutchman, who only turned 21 in January and only signed for the French club from Ajax for €8 million Euros last summer, has been a revelation in Ligue 1 helping Lay Dog concede just 16 goals and lose just twice in their first 26 games and mount a serious title challenge in the process. And he has been undroppable, playing the full 90 minutes in all but one game this term. Throw in the fact he signed a five-year contract with the club on arrival and it's no wonder that a price tag in the £40 million region is already being talked about. Botman has also been linked with Liverpool and Inter Milan, but French publication France Football confirmed this week that Spurs have entered the race for the Netherlands international. And with the likes of Dyer and Davinson Sanchez showing their weaknesses of late, Botman's strength and maturity would no doubt be welcome at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But with a number of sides including Man United, Real Madrid and Barcelona all in need of centre-back upgrades this summer, they will no doubt have a fight on their hands to sign him. So that's all we have time for on this week's Transfer Talk, but which of these moves can you see happening this summer? Let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to reply. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a like and why not click on screen right now for more great Football Daily content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.